Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 10. We're going to begin by adding all of this information to the diagrams. So the first thing we're told is the radius of the cylinder is 2 meters or 200 centimeters, so let's add that on. And then we're told the side lengths of the square end of the cuboid, so we've got 80 centimeters and 30 centimeters. And finally, all three shapes are 1.5 meters tall or in centimeters 150 centimeters. Next, we're going to work out the volume of the cuboid at tap B. So this is the one that's 80 by 80 by 150, which gives you 960,000 centimetres cubed. Now in the question, the water that flows from this tap into the cuboid goes at a rate of 4 litres per minute. We're also told that 1 litre is the same as 1,000 centimetres cubed, so water is flowing at a rate of 4,000 centimetres cubed per minute. We can use both parts of information we've worked out so far to find the time it takes to fill the cuboid at tap B. So this will be the volume, which is 960,000 centimetres cubed, divide by that rate of flow, which is 4,000. This gives you an answer of 240 minutes. We can repeat this process in exactly the same way for the cuboid at tap C. So the volume of that cuboid would be 30 times 30 times 150, which is 135,000 centimetres cubed. This tap flows a little slower, so it's only 3 litres per minute, which is a rate of 3,000 centimetres cubed per minute. So we can find the time it takes to fill this cuboid by doing the volume, which is 135,000, divided by the rate, which is 3,000. And this gives you 45 minutes. So the time it takes to fill the cuboid at tap B is 240 minutes, and the time it takes to fill the cuboid at tap C is 45 minutes. We're interested in when the water level in the cylinder reaches half of the height of the cylinder. Now we're told the height of the cylinder, that's 150, so we want to know when the water level reaches half of this, which is 75 centimetres. So we're trying to find out how much water needs to go into the cylinder to reach this height. We'll start by working out the volume of half of the cylinder. This would be pi times the radius squared, which is 200, and times the height of half of the cylinder, which is 75 centimetres. This gives you 3 million pi centimetres cubed. Now remember, the cylinder has two cuboids inside of it as well, so they're taking up some of that space. So we need to remove from this volume half of the volume of the cuboids. So the volume of half of the cuboids equals the total volume of all of the cuboids, which was 960,000 plus 135,000, divided by 2, which gives you 547,500 centimetres cubed. So the volume of water that needs to go directly into the cylinder will be 3 million pi centimetres cubed, subtract 547,500, which gives you 8,877,277.961 centimetres cubed. Now it makes sense to convert this into litres, so we'll divide this by a thousand, and then you've got 8,877.277961 litres. So this is the amount of water that needs to go directly into the cylinder. We're now ready to try and calculate how long it takes for that cylinder to fill to this level. So right at the start, at 7 o'clock, there are zero litres inside the cylinder. The next important time is 45 minutes later at 7.45 because at this point the cuboid underneath tap C has now filled up. During this 45 minute window, tap A has been inputting water directly into the cylinder. We're told it goes at a rate of 10 litres per minute, and this is for 45 minutes, so at this point there'll be 450 litres of water inside the cylinder. The next important point is at 11 o'clock. This is 4 hours, or 240 minutes, after we started, and at this point the cuboid underneath tap B will now be full. Between 7.45am and 11am though, we now have two taps contributing water into the cylinder. We have tap A, but also tap C, since the water will overflow from the cuboid into the cylinder. So we add together both of their rates, at 10 litres and 3 litres per minute, to get a rate of 13 litres per minute. This happens between 7.45am and 11am, which is a total time of 195 minutes. We can work out the amount of water that goes in then by multiplying the rate by the time, which gives you 2,535 litres. If we add this to the 450 litres that are already inside the cylinder, 
At 11am there will be 2895 litres inside the cylinder. Now at this point both of the cuboids are full, so from now on all three taps are putting water directly into the cylinder, so we have a new rate, which is all of the rates added together, of 17 litres per minute. Now earlier we worked out the total volume we needed, which was 8,877.277961 litres. And at this point we've only got 2,895 litres. So the remaining volume of water would be 8877.2277961 take away 2895. Which gives you a remaining amount of 5892.277961 litres. All we need to do to work out how much longer this is going to take is divide that volume by the rate. So if we divide it by 17 we'll find the remaining time, which is 346.6045859 minutes. Now the question wanted us to do it to the nearest minute so we can round that 0.6 up and we end up with 5 hours and 47 minutes. So we just need to add 5 hours 47 minutes onto 11am and that would take you to 4.47pm, which is the answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the video I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.